Giuseppe Tornatore torna al cinema dopo la migliore offerta con La Corrispondenza, dove dirige Olga Curilenco e Jeremy Irons. Noi di Fanpage abbiamo incontrato il regista e il cast del film. Sentite che cosa ci hanno raccontato. Il mio errore è stato non averti incontrata prima. Ti aspetterò. In the movie, your character is a student, but is also a stunt. How um, being a Bond girl and took part in a lot of action movies helped you to interpret this character? Uh, well, you know, the, the stunt part is, uh, is something I'm so used to doing now. You know, I've, I've done it for so many films, so of course it's, it's fun. I love doing it. Um, although in this movie, I didn't do too much of it. <laughs> I was pregnant <laughs> when I filmed the movie, but um, so I couldn't jump around too much. How did you work with the director? Did you leave room for um, improvisation or...? No, uh, okay. no, Giuseppe... Are you playing everything? Yeah, Giuseppe doesn't like to improvise. Okay. <laughs> improvise or, well, yeah, maybe in, in, this, in this case, maybe he does on, on, in other projects, but... Um, in this particular one, uh, you know, it was very precise. I mean, obviously, it was dealing with the questions of astrophysics, and which is very complicated. You, so you can't really, um, if you, you know, if you say one word uh, wrong, then it doesn't make sense. So no, very, very precise with the text, uh, but very intuitive, and um, I would say he has a feminine sensibility because he's very, very, um, mm, he understands. Um, women. This is why he wrote such a wonderful female character. This is very rare to have a character like this um, in a movie uh, for a woman. Pensi che noi due ci siamo detti sempre tutto? Segreti? Misteri? Noi due siamo tutto un mistero. In your private life, I read an interview, you prefer uh, older men than your peers, <laughs> but it's the same with the castmate on set. Do you prefer work with uh, people that is older than you? Or no, for work it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, you know, I, I cannot really choose them because I guess the actor that gets casted, it's the one that I'm going to work with. But in Jeremy's case, I always admired him as an actor. He's an amazing actor. Um, well, obviously everybody knows that, but you know, I'm particularly was uh, I was a fan, and uh, um, I wish I spent more time working with him physically because obviously the relationship between Amy and Ed is very virtual. So um, most of the messages from him were pre-recorded, so he did it without me. Mm -hmm. And um, and was tough to do that for you. Well, no, because no, it wasn't tough. Obviously, as I said, personally, I prefer, you know, okay. it's nice to be with, uh, with actors and especially actors that you admire that are so amazing and uh, uh, there's always interesting to observe them and to tons of things to learn. But uh, in this particular case, it's the story and the story, um, the communication happens that way. So if anything, it was uh, easier for me because um, I didn't have to come up with anything. It was done exactly in the way um, I was in the reality. After a lot of movie like action, drama, uh, romantic, would you like to play, I don't know, a comic characters? Like, do yeah. you portray uh, yourself like Bridget Jones or in a yes, role like I that? Yes, I love Bridget Jones. <laughs> 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 yeah, I always say I'd like to do a comedy because this is really the, the genre that's missing. Even though, you know, I was a part of uh, Seven Psychopaths, yeah. which is, but you know, it's, it's was such that? a tiny, it's uh, such a small female, female character. But yeah, like a real comic mm, female mm -hmm. character mm -hmm. would be, would be the role to, you know, and the yes. role to, to wish for <laughs> next.